Hey folks, let's try this again. I screwed up the beginning of the last video because I'm on a cognitive decline K1 GMM. And what I'm gonna go through here is an updated uh, configuration for the RX digital audio processing system running on the Sun SDR2DX. I have not tried this modified. Actually, I'm, I'm doing the same thing on the Apache, but I haven't done the modifications to an individual plugin that I'm gonna show you and what this does. Uh, and this is in direct relation to the sun because of the lack of an AGCT. It's an RF gain, which is, and the noise reduction is uh, CAC on the sun. It's basically a low pass filter. So uh, I'm not gonna use the noise reduction in this demo, but don't be afraid to try that and compensate for the uh, stripping of the high end of the audio using the RXEQ to uh, boost it back up before you push it into the VST host. You're going to want to download and install VST host. Configuration is on the website. All the information is there. Uh, you can download that. I have a download link as well as, I believe, a configuration file. I'll have to go in and check. I can't remember. Uh, to learn how to run use VST host, there's plenty of information online on how to do that. There's actually a great tutorial. All right. Anyways, this is VST. This is for VST host. So the first thing you want to do is go to VB audio, type in VB audio cable download. It will take you uh, open up. A, a, it, the search engine will open up and you want to go to. This right here, VB audio virtual cables. OK, click on that. It'll take you here and all you need is one cable download and try the first VB cable free and what you want is the VB cable driver pack zip uh, this is for Windows XP to Windows 11 32 64 bit they also have Mac and I uh, don't know what else here but uh, you want to click the Windows see this Windows one you want to click that download it install it bada boom next thing you want to do let me get over to the logger Okay, next thing you want to do in Windows, this is Windows 10, don't ask me about 11, you want to right click. You want to verify that when the cable installed, the device is ready and we need to check the sample rate. Right click on the speaker icon, go to sounds, it will open this window right here. And you can go to playback tab, scroll down wherever you can find it, you should see cable input. Ready, it should say ready. Right click on it, that's the VB cable. Click advanced, make sure sample rate is at 48 kilohertz. Coolio, go to recording, do the exact same thing. Find that cable, that will be cable output, VB audio virtual cable ready, that's active. Go to properties, advanced, 48 kilohertz, done. If it's not 48 kilohertz, set it to 48 kilohertz. You want all your sample rates the same. Okay, on to the sun, uh, go to options, sound card. What you wanna do is you want to find that cable. All right, and what I do, I try to run the WDM KISS. It may not be in here. Uh, let's see, uh, virtual cable. It is not in the WDM-KS. So let's go to Wasapi. Now this is the output of the sound card right here. This is the output. Wasapi. Okay, where are you? there it is. Was cable input, VB audio virtual cable. You wanna select that. I'm not running that. I'm running uh, uh, virtual audio cables. It's a cable pack, it's a different system. But same thing. Um, you wanna select that. I'm gonna make sure you guys aren't confused. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Wasapi. Uh, where are you? Cable input. Don't ask. The output needs to go to the input of the cable. Okay? The output of the radio needs to go to the input. So select cable input VB audio virtual cable. Boom. That's done. Super simple. Click apply. Okay. That closes. Now come over to VST host. Go to Devices, Wave, 
on your input, you need to select right there, MME cable output, VB audio virtual cable. Select that and the output you need to set to wherever you're gonna send the audio to play back the, the audio, the processed audio from the plugins um, from the radio. So if you're not using an external card and you're using the internal card on the desktop, you would select real tech speakers. So if you click this, you go to MMT, MME right here, real tech speakers. If you're using an external card, which I am, I'm using an M Audio Air 192.4. I select M Audio Air 192.4 speakers right there. Uh, if you're using the cable, if you try to run this at 64 samples, it may start buffering almost immediately. I run mine at 500 samples and it seems to be rock solid and stable. Sometimes when I'm running OBS, it acts funny. Uh, you may have to go up from there. All right, this is kind of a compromise because there's a little bit of more added latency on the, on the receive audio, which can be an issue on pileups and um, uh, contests stuff like that, where timing is ultra, ultra critical. Uh, so I just figured I'd put that caveat in there. All right, uh, once that's done, click OK. It will restart the audio engine. Now, let's see, I'm going to start it and I'm gonna show you, show you a couple things that I have done, which seem to have really helped. And it actually seems to perform better than running a dual card setup. Although I think it has to do with how I'm configuring the first and the second and third plugins in VST host over here. So what I'm going to do first, let's find a signal, which I'm on a signal. That's good. And here you want to go to this little it's right next to the T in the box. This is the one, two, third plug in down. So you have the engine input Brit presser, which is a comp limiter, uh, mostly hard limiting. And then the next one, which is going to be the reefer standalone subtract plug in. So you want to click plug in edit that will open this window. And what I have found is, now of course, this is completely noise floor dependent and signal strength dependent. So the higher the noise floor and the weaker the signal, the less this is going to be effective. I have generally a low noise floor except on 80 meters, but I take care of that with diversity. So if you have a high noise, noise floor, I can't guarantee you how well this is gonna work. Um, you're just gonna have to fuss with it a little bit. All right, so here we go. If you look at this red line, you notice this red line is very low and I dropped this way down. And what ended up happening was I can run up here on the sun, You'll see this slider right here. This is the RF gain. Generally, I have to run this anywhere from 40 to 50. With this setup configuration, I run it between 20 and generally 30. Um, so what that equates to is that you run, you reduce the amount of noise by closing down the RF gain and allowing more audio and less noise to come into the plugins, thereby you can lower this threshold because your noise floor has dropped and this will allow the audio to, to still penetrate. So instead of running the RF gain at like 40 or 50, which is allowing a lot more noise to come in, you can crush this and get a better signal to noise ratio. So let me unmute it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then next thing you know, Mike and Norma came in and uh, they bought down the street from us and then Lynn came in, she bought down the street from us. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been that way. So now we're trailblazing out of the area and just hitting the road again through the RV thing. Yep, yeah, I just heard a little beep in there. I don't know if anybody's breaking in or not. Holy craps. That guy's audio is like, somebody please take the jam jackhammer out of my temple. What is wrong with you guys? <sighs> He's got, he, his audio was literally 800 to 2 kilohertz. That's it. There was nothing, nothing else. <laughs> Why would I listen to that crap? Anyways, I digress. Oh my God. It just split my brain open. That is not the DAP system. That's his audio. Holy crap, dude. Seriously? Anyways, um, I always go off, don't I? 
just an angry person, but I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, so when you noticed, so I'll, I'll kick it out again and watch when someone doesn't talk and watch where the noise floor is. Get ready because it's coming in hot. Yeah, I'm only doing, uh, what the heck am I doing here? A little over 400 watts there. Holy f mother, Mary and Joseph. Uh, let me go to a, uh, an area where there is no signal. I can't listen to that, so let me unmute it. Okay, that right there is the noise floor. That is like non-existent. Look at that. So if someone were to come in and talk, I could probably crush this down even more. Like go to 20. You know, we can try going up here and see what happens. square alongside no. the town. Using them for other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've seen, you know, real strange things. Like um, I was at... Uh, a friend's house is running a flex and getting noise like crazy into the flex, right? And Look at that. One, one of the guys went over to his... And the RF gain the is at 10 he, dB. He, was, uh, he felt it was the TV on. So one of the guys went over, just put both hands on the... Okay, so that guy has absolutely no top end on his audio. Look at, the, look at his signal right here. His low end is way the frick up here and his high end is way down here. Uh, good heavens. <laughs> anyways um it's not this doing that uh it's it's just because they don't know how to set their freaking audio up, upright let's let's try this guy right here that looks a little better uh you, i can i couldn't even tell you what signal you're going i can tell you're in there like i said i can hear you i heard you say hello radio but that's about all i heard okay so that's a little bit better so that's it in a nutshell uh, shows you how to configure it. Um, also, uh, go to this plugin. Let me close this. This is would be third, fourth plugin down. Uh, this is the another reefer standalone that I put in, but this is a gate, and you can you can look at how low this is. Um, this is crazy. So I'll, I'll unmute it. Man, uh, Chicago, you're in Illinois. And that guy signals non-existent. Yeah, I'm over here in Reimersburg, Pennsylvania. I'm in Pennsylvania here, about 65 miles northeast of Pittsburgh, and about 80 miles south of Lake Erie. <laughs> over. So the RF gain is actually running at 16. Normally, I'd have to run it anywhere. Oh, uh, usually around like upper 30s, 40 to 50. So this is crushed. So just just try it, see how it works for you. Of course, it's dependent on noise floor. We'll see you later, seven three. Uh, have a great rest of your day. And sorry about the uh, previous video. I didn't have the screen up uh, with when I was describing how to get to the sounds panel. Um, it was over on the radio. So that does not help people. So, sorry about that, guys. We'll catch you later. I'm going to check this before it goes up, make sure I'm not completely cognitive deficient, like brain dead. See you all later, 7 3.